What is APRS, Automatic Packet Reporting System? I got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> what is it and why do you want it? That's what we're talking about today. Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. I'm Jimmy Jet, and if you like building Toyotas and going off-roading, then this is the channel for you. Make sure that you are subscribed. Today I've got Tyler from My Off-Road Radio here, and he's going to be talking the two minutes in regards to what is APRS and why do you want it. It's a really cool system out there that I just learned about. Tyler, I think he's known about it for a little while now, um, probably for a long while now, but it's uh, really, really neat, and I'm going to let him run with this so that you guys can get the full gamut in these two minutes. You ready, Tyler? Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready, set, boom. APRS is Automatic Packet Reporting System, like we already mentioned. What's really cool about APRS is it takes your GPS location, your position, uh, where you are in the world, and transmits it to the Internet via radio. So um, people have gone and set up little mini computers that are on receive only, essentially, that will take the, your data packet, this uh, GPS APRS packet, and receive it from your radio and then post it online. Once it's online, you can do all sorts of really cool stuff. Um, this is one of the main uses here. So you can see that purple trail there was one of my tracks laid down from earlier today, um, posted online on a website called APRS.fi. Um, and so along with that, that GPS track that it tracks you on, um, you can also send out essentially like a mini tweet you can think of it as. So you can be, it's either 44 or 64 characters, um, but you can post on this broadcast out to anybody out there. So if you find me, look up K6TLR-7 on APRS.FI, you'll see that um, I have my radio.com there. But you can put all sorts of fun stuff, like I'm in trouble, or I'm okay, or knock, knock, who's there? So there's all sorts of fun stuff you do. You can text people using APRS. You can email people using APRS. You can tell people where you're at. They can respond to you. It's a really cool system, very valuable for off-roaders, especially if you get into trouble like I was last night. Um, search and rescue can find you, and sheriffs know how to get ahead, <laughs> make sure you're okay throughout the night. So, yeah. How was that? Cool. We got I, two minutes? I, I, bet, I bet we're just there. That, that was pretty good. Yeah, it's a really cool system. And what I really like about it is if you have loved ones, then they can track you um, at any time as long as you're running that APRS system. And they can just go online and see where you're at and how things are, you know, and you can put messages on there you know, for your whole entire trip as long as your ham's connected to that tower with that APRS signal you know that people can see where you are i remember tyler was headed up snow wheeling a little while ago and he's like follow me and i was watching him go up the trail and go out snow up to the <laughs> snow and go wheeling while i was sitting at my desk job crying yeah but it's a it's a really neat and it's a it's a good safety net so it's definitely something that you should if you want to know more about um you can ask tyler you can reach him on uh, facebook or um uh, Instagram, Instagram is a good one, or yeah. your um, website, My Off Road Radio. I can do another video about the APRS system that I set up in the Forerunner, the first gen Forerunner. So um, we'll talk about that. It's really cool. It's dedicated, so it's on all the time. It turns off when my battery gets low, um, and it just it just it's on. I don't have to think about it, and it just tracks me all day long. My uh, wife, fiance, can figure out if I'm still moving and alive or whether I've been not moving for two to three days and whether she needs to call somebody or not. Yeah. So um, really cool system. We'll go over that, I guess, in another episode here soon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We'll do a more in-depth one about that and possibly how to build one of these yourself. Yep. So uh, hit that subscribe button and don't forget, keep crawling. <laughs>